Hey, this is Joe Gavin. Welcome to lesson four of looping and tapping. Now, I know you haven't seen any tapping yet, but believe me, it's coming. Uh, so what we have today, uh, I want to show you how we did what we did just a moment ago and how we got that neat kind of a sandpaper scraping sound. What you want to do is mute your guitar strings with your left hand and then take your right hand and rhythmically, I stress rhythmically. If you do this unrhythmically, it won't work. Uh, and you want to you want to rub your strings in a rhythmic fashion. And of course, starting your loop at the right moment and defining the boundary at the right moment is that important as always. Okay, now I'm going to drop some chords in to my basic loop. And what you'll notice is I'm not going to get too busy with it because you don't want your loops to be exceptionally busy. It's like a traffic jam. It doesn't work. Here we go. Okay, so what I've done is, on top of the loop that we built to start with, I've laid some basic chords, and now I have that playing together. What I want to do now is put something else, relatively simple, on top of that, so our loop doesn't get too busy. Here we go. So now we have a good basic loop going, and if we, at this point, if we wanted to solo over the top of it, it would be a good place to do that. Here we go. Now I'm not gonna record the solo, I'm just gonna play over the top of what's already there. And this time, I'm gonna use an ebo, which creates a magnetic field over the strings. Now on a Taylor guitar, because Taylor uses a magnetic pickup as part of their expression system, which is under the fingerboard, the closer I get to that place under the fingerboard where the magnetic pickup is, the more dynamic range I have from the Evo. Watch this. Well, that's it for today's lesson. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks again to Taylor Guitars, Fishman Solo Amps, and CarltonMusicCenter.com. See you next lesson. And don't forget your host, Joe Gavin. That's JoeGavin.info.